Hello and welcome to this new host Hostify video. My name is Alex and today we're going to have a quick look at the new firmware release for the UXG Pro version 3.0.7 which brings new features such as ad blocking, WireGuard VPN server and as well as bringing the versioning consistent with the other Unify OS devices such as UDM Pro, UDM SE and the UDR, Unify Dream Router. Um, so we, we released a blog post a few days ago just going over the new features. There's new class of service um, for DHP and WAN. DHP client options 77 and 90, uh, and also some sort of disclaimers about updating the, the software on the UXG Pro. Just some uh, details that you've actually provided. So the firmware release post on the community is linked in our blog, and also link it down below. There are some other new features, a lot of bug fixes which we won't go over, but these some of these new features came to the UDM SE a few weeks ago. Um, so we've also got some fixes with VPN sessions and fixed a rare case where a 10 gig link could get stuck at 1 gig, which might be quite annoying. Um, so we're going to have a quick look at some of those new features. So I'm going to log into unify.ui.com, and there's another bit of news for this website as well. The network.unify.ui.com website is still available, but it's sort of defunct now. Um, so I've got my Unify OS consoles here, uh, Cloud Keys, uh, UDM Pro, UDM SE, UMVR, that sort of thing. There's also this new thing on the left-hand side called Network Servers, and if you connect your Hostify Unify controller to the Unify Cloud, uh, your Hostify servers will be listed here which is quite nice. Uh, so you can either click on either of these buttons to just do the same thing. So I'm going to click on the network button. It may get you to sign in manually. Um, I, I think that's a bug at the moment. It doesn't bypass the the, the login prompts for the Unify server. But I'm logging into my Hostify controller. I've got my UXG Pro online as well. I'll have a look at the Unify devices. So my UXG Pro is running Unify version 3.0.7 and we're going to go have a look at some of the new features now. So go over to settings we should go to VPN. So we've got VPN server, VPN client, site to site VPN. We're going to look at VPN server. So there is now the option for WireGuard VPN. And because I've got this on my sort of lab network where it hasn't got a public IP directly on the WAN interface of the UXG Pro, it's got a private IP address. It does say double NAT can lead to unreliable connections. It says fix that first, which is quite a nice, uh, nice warning for people that might not be too sure. Um, it also notices that it's via DHCP, which may connect which may change sometimes, especially if you've got a dynamic public IP as well. So you can put the name in, so the choose the one IP, the port, you can set a gateway subnet that it that it gives out to those devices. So we can also have a look at the ad blocking feature. So we go to firewall and security. There's an ad blocking section. This sort of would give the same feature set as a Pi hole, uh, Raspberry Pi hole. Um, but there isn't much information about how this exactly works. So you can just tell it to block adverts on certain networks. It, there isn't much granular uh, control over it just yet. That's about it for the new features. Um, it's good to see that you are actually bringing the UXG Pro in line with the other Unify OS consoles, um, or the other Unify devices such as UDM Pro and that sort of thing. Uh, so it means that customers using the UXG Pro with Hostify or Cloud Key uh, will be able to get access to those new features that uh, UXG are working on. Uh, there are some new features in the early access section of the community post you can look at. And we, won't, we won't discuss what those are just yet. They haven't made it out of EA yet. So that's a quick look at the UXG Pro version 3.0.7. Uh, that, that is out now in GA. Uh, it was released 10 days ago. We've got a full blog post going over the details. There is some sort of details about updating. Um, so sometimes with the UXG Pro, your book does specify what method of installation needs to be used. In some cases, SSH only and then GUI only. Um, for this version, your book said that users must not use SSH to update, uh, only use the GUI when it's pushed out to the Unified Controller. Um, it's not clear what problems that will actually give you, um, but it says do not use SSH, so I would, um, that's probably a good thing to follow. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at hostify.com. We do Unify hosting, USP hosting, and now Amada hosting. You can contact the team at support at hostify.com, and you can follow us on Twitter for updates about the company at hostify underscore net. We're also on Mastodon, link down below. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex, and we'll see you again next time.